Today in the kitchen, we are making some pesto. We've harvested our garlic scapes, and with 18 pounds of those, we are basically kind of scrambling to make use of them all before they go bad, getting them in the freezer. But one thing I wanted to share with you was some garlic scape pesto. It's surprising how hard that is to say. You really have to kind of like concentrate. But anyways, <laughs> I digress. So as usual, I work in big batches, but I'm going to give you the ingredients right now, right off the top for a single batch, because if you just want to make enough to have a meal, put on your pasta, that sort of thing, uh, basically this would give you probably two meals uh, with a single batch. So we're going to quickly run off it, and then I'm going to show you how we do it. So what you need, first off, is one cup of garlic scapes. Uh, basically that's kind of about 12, maybe 14 or so right out of the garden, depending on the size of them. And you want to chop those into little pieces because that's going to help your food processor to really grind them up easily. Uh, next you're going to need a half cup of olive oil, a quarter cup of sunflower seeds, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, half a cup of basil, and three to four tablespoons of lemon juice. That really depends on your personal taste, so I'm gonna let you roll with that. Uh, we're going with three tablespoons at this point, but I'm gonna taste test it, but we're noticing the scapes are really strong this year. So, with that said, we're gonna get started. So here is all our ingredients that we have pre-measured out. I'm doing a triple batch of this pesto. So, first thing we're kind of starting with here is these scapes. I have three cups of scapes in there and we're going to get these uh, spinning around and ground up a little bit before we add our olive oil. So we've basically got it kind of worked up. It needs to be more than that but we're going to add our olive oil and that'll help it get going. So next step is to add the olive oil and then you're going to pulse puree this again for another 30 seconds to a minute. So there you can see we kind of have murky green consistency. Uh, next we're going to pop in our basil and our sunflower seeds. I'm going to kill two birds with one stone and do it all at the same time. Because uh, I like things to be simple. There we go. I'll just use my spatula, kind of push that down into the liquid. And then you're another 30 seconds to a minute grinding this up. At this point now, you really want it to get worked up pretty good. It may take a little longer, depending on your food processor. Now, time to add our last two ingredients. Parmesan cheese. I like to blend uh, both the, I don't know if Chris can zoom in there to see it, but there's kind of the real fine powdery type Parmesan cheese, as well as the thicker grated Parmesan cheese. But whatever works for you will work just fine. And then our lemon juice. And we're going to, once again, puree this up. And it's that easy. There you can see pesto is complete. Now all we need to do is put this in some jars. But you can see here, this is your normal, cheapy, what's a Hamilton Beach uh, food processor. And you can see a triple batch basically gave me three quarters of this full. Uh, it's probably close to a liter. I'm not sure. I'll bring you back once I've uh, packaged it up and we'll have a better idea of just how much we got tripling this. But uh, it's perfect. It does. Usually if I do two batches of this, that does us for the year. So we're working with these wonderful little half cup containers with a nice little clip on lid. They are so perfect for freezing pestos, garlic butters, that sort of thing in. And that was my last six. Now, Chris will show you here. I still have a lot of pesto. Another option for putting them in is these little cups. But to be honest, I hate using kind of single-use plastic, and every time I use the pesto, I end up taking out two or three of them. Uh, so we're going to pause for a moment and go buy some more cups. And now, through the magic of television, we're back with containers. So we're just finishing potting up this wonderful pesto. It smells so amazing, the whole house. I know I keep doing these videos where I tell you guys how wonderful something smells, and I know you can't smell it, but just try and make the recipe and you'll see what we mean. So we've got it pretty much packaged up. We've ended up with 11 of these little half cup pesto containers or containers of pesto, which is fantastic because, you know, that's 11 little pasta meals or something like that. Uh, we'll probably do one more batch of this because, well, 
We've really only gotten through half of the scheme so far, so we've got a lot more pesto to make, or who knows? Maybe we'll come up with something else. But as I said, great use for garlic scapes. Uh, it is something that is versatile. You can use the pesto on top of garlic bread, like or as a garlic spread on top of bread. Uh, it's great on pastas. I believe we even have a recipe which we'll link above with squash that uses this particular pesto recipe. So give it a try. Let us know what you think down in the comments below or send us a note, whatever. We like to hear what people think of what we do. So have a great day and enjoy working with your scapes.